Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm going to do a video on how to mount your Tamiya speaker up in the front of your truck. This leaves a lot more room in the cab if you want to put an interior in, or if you're making a day cab, it's really about the only place to do it. So I'm going to show you how to make these brackets. I've got a free template on how to do it that you can get from me. So let's get started. This is what the finished uh, speaker will look like on the brackets. You can see it's a, a nice tight fit against the servos, but it's not touching. It will not fit with a stock can motor. You have to use a, a motor that has an open end bell. At least I don't think it will fit with a stock motor. Um, I don't normally use those anyway. So that's kind of what it looks like when, uh, when it's all done. Tucks in there very nicely. So to start, I've produced this, um, this template and you use Lowe's 11307 half inch bar stock. Um, you can get this template from me free. My email is in the description to the video. So if you email me, I'll send you a copy. Um, I'm probably going to produce finished parts and have those on my website. But uh, if, if I do, I'll put a link in the video also. So when you get the uh, template, the first thing you need to do is just cut it out. So I got a pair of scissors here, and I'll just cut this out. Not very high tech, but sometimes not very high tech is the way to go. Now I don't need to cut the back side too. Too good. Cut these little notches out here. This is for the uh, the front mount, and the back mount is the same way. So I've got my part here, my piece of aluminum. I've got a pencil, so I'm going to. Just draw this arc on here, draw the end on here, draw these little notches, and I'll use a center punch and center punch the holes. Okay. So I'm going to go cut that out of my bandsaw. There's my part. I cut it on the bandsaw and drilled holes with an eighth inch drill bit. So now I have to mark the, the fold lines. And there are these dotted lines right here. So I'll just put a pencil mark on each one. Got a little square here. not super critical. And I'll go bend that. Now to bend this, I'm just going to clamp it in my vise. Just push it over with my fingers. 90. And then the same on this side. Okay, go back to the bench. Well, I bent several of these up. This is the front and this is the back. Um, the back, I overbent them a little bit because they have to tuck inside the suspension mount. So now we'll go ahead and mount these on a truck. So I've got a King Hauler day cab here. You can see I've got a Tamiya speaker and an MFC unit. And you can kind of start to see how fitting all this in, the, in a day cab 
uh, becomes a problem and that's why the front speaker mounts. So if I pop the body off here, that gives me access and I should be able to mount up my speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the wiring come out on the side here. So these will be sideways to the brackets. I'm going to use Tamiya 3x8 screws and these little Tamiya nuts to bolt the brackets to the speaker. And as always, use a little Tamiya thread lock here. get everything bolted up loosely to start with. Now the speaker has got some kind of oblong shaped holes so you can do a little fine adjustment. I'll get that as square as I think I can. And there's the front bracket. I'll go ahead and bolt the rear bracket on. There's my two brackets mounted to the speaker. Pretty straightforward. And now I'll go ahead and mount it in the vehicle. So to do that, I have to remove this front bumper mount screw here on each side and the shock bolt on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that apart. I pulled the screw and I pulled the bolt. Remember this bracket's a little over bent because it tucks inside the shock mounts. So now I'm just going to slide this down. Like that. And then the bolts that hold it, this is the front bumper mount screw goes back in. And then this shock mount bolt just goes back through the shock tower. And through the bracket and then I'll put the nut back on and do the same thing on the other side so I'll go ahead and get that done there's the speaker mounted super solid again just tucks in there nicely and I can put the body back on one uh, one final detail before putting the body back on is this this cross brace right here needs to be removed. It, it interferes with these brackets. You could also notch the brackets. I've done that, but it's easier just to remove this and with the grill mounted that doesn't do anything anyway. So I'll get a razor saw and just cut that out. And there's my body back on with the speaker inside. So there we go. That is how to uh, how to make a set of speaker brackets and install the speaker in the front of your King Hauler or Grand Hauler. Uh, remember, I've got this little template. It's free. Just email me. The email's in the description. 
or I'm going to probably sell these little brackets on my website, hobbyconcepts.net. So there we go, simple little project, but uh, it's, it's handy when you've got to move that speaker. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.